Hello, and welcome to Jack's Cafe. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be making some brownies, everyone's favorite. I'm using a well-known brownie mix, can't say. Okay, so what the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pour, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what you're gonna wanna do first, right, is you're gonna wanna take this and you're gonna put it to the side. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take a measuring cup and put in, all right, let's get a good look at that. Get a measuring cup that's not backwards and um, put in one fourth cup of water. All right, so up to a measuring cup that's out, that's about to about right there. All right, so you're gonna wanna dump that in. Then you're gonna, hold on. All right, so you're gonna, all right, so you're gonna wanna pour the water in there. Okay, hold on one second again. All right, good. So what you're gonna wanna do is then get one third, one third, not one fourth, of vegetable. Hold on. Then get one third of vegetable oil. Lot. So we're just I'm not I'm gonna put a little under but if you want the full experience what you're gonna want to do is put one third not a little under one third like I did. Uh, All right, and then you're gonna want to dump that in there Then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get some scissors Just your average kitchen scissors you're gonna wanna cut the bag open and then recycle the plastic because you don't throw away plastic. Alright. Alright, and then you're just gonna wanna So this is what we're working with right now, right? Right? And what you're gonna wanna do is then you're gonna wanna pour Pour in the brownie mix. Good. Then, but you're not done yet. Then, you're going to want to get one egg. Alright, you're going to want to get one egg, right, one egg, and you're gonna wanna put it in there. Make sure none of the shells are in there. Right. Then you're gonna wanna take a whisk, and you're gonna wanna whisk it. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk that. Whisk up all that good stuff that you just put in there. Alright. My dog's... My dog's being funny. I love you, Bibir. He's an American Bulldog. He's purebred, actually. And, um... My grandmother's sister gave them to us because she is like a breeder or something all right 
when we feed a look hold on i'll point the camera to him there he is he will he will, he's great at taking pictures okay Gonna wanna make sure you got all the brownie mix up in there. All right. And you're gonna wanna make sure it's nice and thick, just like that. All right. And then what you're gonna wanna do out there bears all right and then you're gonna want to take your normal average pan and you're, you're going to want to take your canola oil just a little not too much just a little canola oil and just kind of put it on the pan right, nicely just not too much just a little just to grease up the pan And then if you want to do it the inefficient way, like most people do it, you can just kind of let it sit there and slosh it around some, but that's not how, that's how inefficient people do it. If you want to be efficient, you can like roll up a paper towel and you can just kind of wipe it and spread it around. And you want to go up in there, hold on one second. There we go. dog's very cute. Right, we feed him regularly. Alright, then you're gonna then see see how it's all greased up. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna stir this up one more time. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna wanna clean off your whisk because one likes a dirty whisk. Then at the sink, and then you're gonna want to get a uh, yeah. And you're gonna want to get one of these. Barry, no one's out there. Come on, Barry. Want a treat? Barry, come on, let's get a treat. Barry. <laughs> Postpone. Hold on. Stay there. Stay there. Come on, let's get a treat. Sorry about that interruption. Uh, yeah, okay. So you want to take your nice thick uh, brownie mix. And you're just going to like put it in the pan. And I'll show you what the pan should look like. Evenly just, 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 dispute, just, just dispute it everywhere. Alright. 
Now, unfortunately for you, I'm not going to re be recording for the 45 minutes that you put it in for. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Okay. And then you're going to want to um, preheat the oven, which I haven't done that. Shit. And you're going to want to press, and you're going to want to turn on the oven. Um, three, seventy. Then you're going to want to start that and let it preheat. All right? And so while that preheats, I'm going to... You lucky my fingers are not my bits on. And what you're going to want to do while it will... And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... So you're going to want to put the brownie mix in the oven. And then you're going to... Once it's done preheating. And then you're going to want to set it... And then you're going to want to set the timer for... 45, 40 to 45 minutes. And then, so it should be done. And then, in 40 to 45 minutes, you, my friend, will have a good old brownie. And I'll show you what it looks like, too. Hold on. The brownies look like there. And yeah. All right, I'm going to wait for that oven to preheat. Actually, I'm not. That has been Jack's Cafe. Come back the next time when we upload. Because we upload at least once, twice, three times a week. Doesn't matter. It's whenever my schedule. It's whenever I'm free. Alright? And, uh, yeah. So once it's done preheating to 375 degrees, 375, you're going to want to put it in the oven for 40, 40, 40 to 45 minutes. And then let that bake. And then, yeah, you'll have your brownies. Let it sit for a good five minutes. Let it cool down. And then you and your family, or whoever, will enjoy a good old plate of brownies. Goodbye.